control. At first glance, it seems like just another typical weight loss buzzword. One that's frequently used, yet rarely mastered. Why do you think that is? Perhaps because we live in a world that we can't control. We can't control the fact that the bakeries across the street tempting us with items every morning. And we can't control the fact that our culture has led us to crave foods like hot dogs, hamburgers, and french fries. The goal of this section is to establish personal controls in a world that's virtually unpredictable. We're going to focus on what you can control and learn to develop methods to cope with situations you can't. You're going to find that when you're in control of your eating behaviors, other areas of your life are going to seem more balanced as well. Things like your career, your relationships, and your finances. When you're in control of your eating behaviors, positive emotions will also start to come about. Validation, excitement, joy, strength, and importance are all feelings associated with control. These are the exact same characteristics that we discussed in the last step. So as you can see, there's a strong correlation between your self-image and your self-control. How do we regain control? The best way to regain control is to learn to establish personal responsibility. When you become personally responsible for your actions, Without blaming others, you are well on your way to controlling your eating behaviors. Let's review an example. Let's say a number of your family members struggle with their weight. Once you can recognize that your personal eating habits are what created your weight gain, you take ownership. I guess as a child, you might have been influenced by your family. Understanding that you dictate your own actions is a powerful first step in learning to control your behavior. We're all guilty of blame from time to time. And the goal is to establish how and why we blame certain key individuals in our life. So I want you to think, what do you typically blame the following individuals for? Your spouse, your best friend, your children, your parents, your boss, or your coworkers. We typically blame those in our direct social circles for things like added stress or taking away precious time from our already hectic lives. We might also blame them for the creation of unhealthy habits that we picked up because of them along the way. Now imagine a world in which there was no blame. A world in which you took responsibility for all those actions. How do you think you'd feel? Probably a lot more in control. So now you see that personal responsibility will give you control. But the question remains, how do we stay in control during challenging situations? Psychologists have found that utilizing tools like imagery and mental rehearsal can be very effective when trying to implement lifestyle change. Imagery and visualization techniques can be very helpful when trying to prepare yourself for a challenging situation you know you're about to embark upon. Say you have a friend and every time you visit their home, there's always baked goods lying out and about at your disposal. By imagining the situation ahead of time, you can visualize yourself being able to politely refuse the items. And this will empower you and prepare you to be able to duplicate that action when the situation actually unfolds. You can also use imagery to help remove temptation. Say you have a family barbecue coming up and you know there's going to be a buffet filled with high calorie fats and sweets. Try visualizing the fat, the cholesterol, and the grease of those products. I guarantee it will make them less appetizing and you're more likely to resist them. You can lastly utilize imagery to help cope with stressful situations. When the stress of your day starts to pile on and you typically respond with turning to food, I want you to engage in mental rehearsal 
and escape to a place that allows you to feel more calm and relaxed so you can cope with that situation. Imagine yourself on a relaxing beach or under the shade of a tree. Whatever works for you, just go to that place so you can calm down and cope with the situation. For your homework this week, I want you to practice utilizing the very techniques we discussed during this section. Remember, we talked about using imagery to help pre-plan for challenging situations. We also talked about using imagery to remove temptation. And lastly, imagery to help cope with challenging or stressful situations. For your homework, I want you to try to use all three so you can find out which method works best for you. Journal your results and you can look back and make sure that you're using all three methods. Thank you for joining me this week, you guys. We covered a lot of great material. I look forward to seeing you next time for our next step where we will head to the supermarket and learn some strategies to make sure you're shopping smart. Thank you. Thank you.